All right, border crossings are booming, but get a little bit of this. When it comes to deportations, well, they're not. They're at a record low. What gives? Chad Wolf is the former acting DHS secretary. Um, secretary, I'd never seen a chasm like this in monthly data. Uh, what do you make of it? Well, Neil, what I will tell you is I'm not sure that the numbers are altogether that surprising for those of us that follow this. This is exactly what happens when you tie the hands of law enforcement. You're going to see arrests go down, and you're going to see removals or deportations go down as well. So what the Biden administration did in really the early days of the administration back in January was to issue guidance to ICE law enforcement officials, uh, really restricting them on who are the types of individuals that they can target for removal. Um, and so now, under that guidance, you essentially have to be a, a terrorist or a suspected terrorist, or you have to be a convicted felon, uh, aggravated felon. Um, and so essentially that takes about 80 to 90 percent of all of the targets off the table for ICE law enforcement officers. And so you see the result of that in the data and the numbers that you just showed. Uh, numbers and, and arrests and deportations are down across the board. Now, what's odd about this, there was a time when Barack Obama was president that uh, some groups were calling him the deporter in chief and didn't like uh, the, the rate at which he was deporting those who crossed the border or were just at the border. Um, his vice president at the time uh, supported that effort. Now he's president of the United States, but he is not continuing that effort. I, I wonder what you make of that. Well, a couple of things. And I think what's most concerning is obviously we see the situation going on at the border, not enforcing the rule of law on the border. But now we are also seeing them not enforcing the rule of law in the interior of the United States, right? These are individuals that ICE comes across targets or, or comes uh, into contact with. These are individuals that have no legal right to remain here in the U.S. And in most cases, they've gone through a due process. They've gone before an immigration judge in most cases and they have been ordered to be removed. And so ICE is effectuating that order. Um, and for the Biden administration and officials at DHS to simply tell them to ignore the law, it puts law enforcement officers in a very, very um, dicey situation where they have to choose between their career and following that advice or adhering to the rule of law and what they signed up to do to enforce the law. We do know that the Vice President Kamala Harris intends to go uh, to Mexico, elsewhere, to, to, to get what she says is, is the start and, and, and what causes this, the root causes of this. Part of that will involve giving potentially billions to that neck of the woods. I'm, I'm talking beyond Mexico, but Central yeah. America. We don't know all the details yet, uh, Secretary, but we know enough. A lot of money will be involved, and I'm just wondering whether that will do the right. trick. Or are you worried that it'll be good money after bad? Well, I'm certainly concerned, and I think you, you certainly need to put a number of strings uh, attached to that funding. You can't simply provide it to them without any of a return on investment for the U.S., and that's what we did under the Trump administration. We held them accountable for doing and implementing the things that they said they would do with that funding. And at the end of the day, we were able to sign 12, 14 different uh, security agreements with them. Um, but that alone is not going to do it. And so the idea and the strategy that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at is the Biden administration is encouraging Mexico and the Northern Triangle to do more to enforce their borders. But yet they are not enforcing law on our southwest border, on our own border. Uh, and that's concerning uh, that you're going to continue to see numbers that we saw in March and we see in April continue to come across that border if we don't actually enforce the rule of law on that border. You can do all you want. You can you can provide funding to the Northern Triangle. But if you're not going to uh, hold people accountable, uh, those numbers are going to continue to come. All right. Uh, Chad Wolf, thank you very much. The former acting DHS secretary. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.